Now, just looking at this, anybody with eyes could see that this is a rock, right? Wrong. The four U.S. automobile manufacturers, not to mention the foreign builders, which I'm not going to mention, don't look at this and see it for what it really is. How can they do that? Simple. They don't call it a rock. They call it a car. This was a Lincoln. <laughs> Lemonade. Because I think if there's anything that gives them a black eye, it is this concept of a lemon. Uh, it may be said that Detroit is the biggest citrus producing area in the United States, even more so than the Rio Grande Valley. Their lemons are bigger than our grapefruit. Please remember how I feel about you. I could never really live without you. As far as I can tell, lemons can result in seven different ways, or of course, in combination. First, a manufacturer design defect, a car on paper that doesn't meet expectations on the street. Second, bad parts that another company makes for the manufacturer's assembly line process. Third, sloppy or poor work on the assembly line itself by employees. Fourth, poor quality control on the assembly line. Cars come out that should never be sent on to the dealers. Fifth, transportation to the dealer from the manufacturer sometimes leads to damaged new vehicles. Sixth, poor dealership preparation. Don't laugh, new cars have left the lot with little or no oil in the crankcase. And seventh, we consumers can treat a new car so roughly that it develops severe problems immediately. Detroit, the narrow passage. Mm -hmm. 